Stay out of I've trouble, been looking Imperial. for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Uh, I know you killed him. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. In fact, I wanted to thank you. He will not be missed. I does not narrow it down very much. I want to go see the museum. There's a museum in town, and I want to see it. Yeah, Where we walked it? right by it. Where is it? Uh, if we go back to the Yarl, it'll be on the right side. I also want to go back to the temple and make sure our uh, little girl that we rescued and brought to the temple is actually okay. Okay, we'll go check on the child first, because that should take, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Beware the region northeast across the river. Force have taken Men are allowed in here! Get out! 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 That's right, you better get out! Okay, alright, well, he just left. Only three men allowed in here. Yes. There's a the child. Need something? Hey, you doing all right? Yes. Okay, good. That was more of a question than an answer, but you know what? I'll take it as you're doing all right. Oh my. It isn't often that I'm allowed to lay my eyes upon such a handsome specimen. <laughs> um, shouldn't you be like communing with your god or something? Mother Hamal and the other sisters are more than capable of training Fiotra. However, I've never held to the belief that the sisters need a sibyl to hear the commandments of Dabella. We need only listen to our bodies. That sounds like heresy. For it's the moistness of our mouths, she thinks the it hurts throbbing like of heresy. our hearts, and the warmth of our loins that Dabella truly speaks to us. The, the what now? You can guess for yourself which part I listen to the most. We must let our loins do the thinking. You should listen to your heart. Not when it throbs, but when it's stilled. Listen to your heart. I don't actually know how that song goes. But my heart is never stilled, and my mouth is never dry, and my loins never cold. That is Debella's gift to me, that I may grant others satisfaction, while I myself am never satisfied. <laughs> oh, she's voracious in bed. May <laughs> Why would I say th <laughs> You're doing the divine's work. Carry on. Of that you can be certain. Even in the winter of my life, when my skin is a spray of dead leaves and my hair is snowed, I will be here. And there will be those who seek my blessing. Men and women, both old and young. Mother Hamal can attest to that. Great. Tell me about Debella. The goddess of beauty and love. And the best the divines have to offer. For what is more sacred and more honest than the love of beauty? The love of a child? You know, I was, I was about to make a joke about this, but there's lots of things, and most of them involve violence. Then you should listen to our forums of the nature of Debella and art. There are heated words, things thrown, <laughs> and sometimes the pulling of hair. Different, <laughs> different thing. Different thing entirely. <laughs> Eloquent way to describe a cat fight. I'm just thinking, like, her happy place is, like... A, a dimly lit bedroom with like rose petals and and aromatic scents and then it just cuts to Zach's happy place. It's just like a bunch of trenches and run through the jungle is playing. <laughs> the happy there's, place? There's like helicopters flying over and rocket pods and I'm just standing there with a thousand yard stare like, yes, I like this. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. War is fun. <laughs> Sounds like the quarrels with your sisters gets heated. Come on, you apes! You want to live forever! <laughs> I do find that a good argument does lead to nights of intense passion, but mostly behind closed doors, unfortunately. Aw, oh, we can't watch? Although the problems tend to still be there in the morning. I do wish my sisters would be more honest with their interpretations of beauty. What, what do you mean when you say you wish they were more honest? Some of them feel a moral obligation to find beauty in all things. In my but head right now, I'm just going through the steps of reloading a 40 millimeter Bofors cannon. If all mm. things are beautiful, then nothing is beautiful. But if they insist, I will take my books and winches, melodic bards and chiseled warriors, and they can have the beggars like Degain. Oh, <laughs> we met him! How do their opinions differ? Well, many of the sisters interpret love and beauty differently than I. To some, there is beauty to be found in all things. Retractable to rear open feet tray cover. They see a withering mountain flower and find it as beautiful as a lavender in full bloom. 
If they insist on finding ugly things beautiful, I suppose it will just mean more well-built specimens will spend their nights in my chamber. The other sisters will just have to find beauty in my leftovers. Or beggars like to gain. You, you, you did that joke already. I know. We get it. You don't like him very much. How'd you become a priestess? The same way a fighter becomes a soldier, or a plant lover becomes an alchemist. The desire boiled within me before I flowered. But I was no fool. Men do not respect those who tarnish their bodies for pleasure or coin. So you're basically saying that you really like having sex, but you didn't want to work in a brothel. Got it. Thankfully, there was a woman in my town who practiced the Debellan arts. One who attached legitimacy to what I believed were primal instincts. After all, Debella is also the goddess of artistry, beauty, and love. And while none of these things fell into my range of expertise, to simply wear the robe is to own those attributes by proxy. Mother Hamal, of course, saw right through my ruse, but I was able to persuade her that my talent in the erotic arts justified my entry into her service. Your parents <laughs> must be so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't speak for my mother, whom I barely knew and seldom met. She left out of shame when my father revealed his appetite for men. My father did not begrudge my entering to Bella's service. Although he did make a desperate attempt to marry me to a noble's son. Uh, how's that going? The boy was not handsome. Well, he might have been, if not for that elbow he called a nose. Wow, okay. Fuck off. Until next time. Judgmental much? Yeah, Man. wow. Alright. Yeah, so you don't like people with big noses? Sounds like you are stupid. And people say no one wants to hear me just go on and on and on about my hobbies, about different types of blacksmithing and how you temper steel and how it gets really boring. You know what else people don't want to listen to? You talk about how great having sex is all the time. Yeah, we want to see it, not hear about it. Can't believe I'm posted here. I can't believe I'm posted here. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. <laughs> the architecture, it was my absolute favorite. I wrote this down as my dream posting and I never thought that I would get it. I'm so lucky. No, I just always sound like this. Don't 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 confuse what I'm saying for sarcasm. <laughs> you can't you can't drop the act. I have resting bitch voice. <laughs> I wanna see the museum. I like museums. But what actually is it here in the museum? Some machinery? Okay, we got some Dwemer plate metal. Interesting, interesting. I always seen some of that before, but people other than us may not have. Well, most people don't go poking around in Dwemer ruins. They shouldn't, it's dangerous. We got, all the, we got all those on display. They did a good job displaying those. Yeah. yeah. Polished them all up beforehand. It's always hard getting things organized in that. Yeah. A little mechanical crab. A spider bot! I like the mechanical crab. He's not a spider, he's got six legs. Ah, yes, crab bot. Yes, yeah, see this Dwemer. Ah, yes, the Dwemer Cog. Invented in uh, the first era, the Dwemer Cog is made out of Dwemers. Yep, the they... Dwemer named every noun a Dwemer, which <laughs> made it very difficult to determine what belonged to what and what went where. Oh, good, they're like Smurfs. Hey, can you uh, Dwemer me the, the 3 8 Dwemer that I need for the, the Dwemer Dwemer that goes on to the Dwemer? You can't over Dwemer it, because if you over Dwemer it, then that'll, that'll snap the, the reverse Dwemer. Remember to turn it Dwemer and not counter Dwemer. Also, do you want Imperial Dwemer or Metric Dwemer? Oh my god. Why haven't we just gone over to Metric Dwemer? It's Metric Dwemer, but like, why haven't we just gone over to Metric Dwemer? Uh, I mean, we just need everything to be in Metric Dwemer. But other Dwemer are resistant to change. Hey, yo, what up, my Dwemers? <laughs> this concludes the reenactment of a Dwemer mechanic fixing a Dwemer refrigerator. The Dwemer. Oh, gross! They got, they got, uh, Falmer stuff in here? That's disgusting! Uh, well, Falmer are the victims of the Dwemers, so it's nice that they have some token recognition. The Falmer stuff should be, I don't know, put somewhere else. Not with the Dwemer things. What is it? Dragons? <laughs> what about dragons down here, my guy? Come on! You got some generic looking yeah, Dwemer we some, stuff. You got some Dwemer weapons. That's, that's fun. I imagine a lot of this stuff is exciting for people who aren't us that see a lot of Dwemer stuff. 
Chronicles of, and then he sneezed while he was writing this book. Yeah, it's Chronicles of, oh, well, I see this guy took the HP Lovecraft way of coming up with the names of new things, where you just throw a bunch of consonants together and make an inscrutable word that nobody can actually pronounce. Grab a handful of letters out of a Scrabble sack and throw them on the ground. See what you make. I don't think Scrabble was invented then. Boggle, whatever. Dwemer had Dwemered, a adventurous Dwemer, but had Dwemered to be a very Dwemer, very old Dwemer, who Dwemered his Dwemer, searching for the Dwemer and Dwemering Dwemerstitions. This is the laziest Mad Lib I've ever heard. He Dwemered much and Dwemered many Dwemers and Dwemer structures that Dwemered his Dwemer. Oh yeah, you can get my Dwemer Dwemering all right. I, you know, I feel like I'm learning things, but I kind of would have preferred to go to the Natural History Museum. This is a great sauna. Steam. Yeah. I mean, the robots are cool, but I want to see more dinosaurs. Yeah, well, we shouldn't see have more gone. See more dinosaurs, he says. The guy that's been fighting dragons like every <laughs> single freaking day. Yeah. Stendar's hammer. Oh, neat. Oh, we can just take that, apparently. Yeah, all right. It's not even... All right, sure, why not? They don't particularly care if I take Stendar's hammer. Er... Oh, you guys mad? Can't believe I'm posted here. <laughs> I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. I can't believe you came in here with the Khajiit. He's going to get hell over everything. Should have invested in a vacuum oh. cleaner. Stendar's hammer. Damage to the target for 22 points. Depletes 20 stamina from wielder per hit. That sucks! I don't even... Wh that really sucks! Why do you think Stendar donated it to the museum? Ugh, I see why. I'm putting it right back where <laughs> I found it. Depletes 20 stamina per hit. Why can't I pick it up? It, you know, it's very heavy, I guess. Whatever, good enough. <laughs> All right, they can take care of it. It's their job. Uh, this part of the museum seems locked off for some reason. Oh, wait. I had the, I had the museum key. I didn't ah. even have to... Blood! Why is there blood down here? A leak! Hooray, you can finally craft that stew you wanted! I can finally make a stew! See, I knew it! I knew it was a booby trap! Oh, it's chopping up the cabbages! It's not a trap at all! It's an automatic dicer! Ow, ow, ow! Okay, if you get too close, it's in a, into the trap, yes. Well, Mike, don't you know? Oh. You shouldn't have stuck your hand in the slap chop, Mike. I learned. Why did you put your hand in the slap chop? I know now. Well, that was an interesting museum. And we're into the Calcelmo's laboratory we go now. You won't mind. Your fingers are talented. You should see what they do after hours. Ho ho. One, shut up. Two, also shut up. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so this is just his lab. Clean up the oil spills! This is a job for Environmental Protection Agency Agent Jack! Look at these us? oil spills! Look at these oil spills here! Oh, I'm gonna want some cat litter on these oil spills immediately, followed up by some sawdust, and then we need to put a barrier around these to prevent the oil from leaking into the crack in the ground! If you don't mind the uh, environmental hazard, you can always light it on fire, and then the oil will disappear. I can't believe you would say that in front of Environmental Protection Agent Jack! Okay. We must protect the environment at all costs! I'm gonna back up a little bit. Gonna... I haven't brushed my teeth in five days and I have terrible halitosis! I can tell that, yes! Now, now you must listen to me because what? you are under investigation. No, you're on. Uh, hang on, what is this? what's the thing I'm believing? You legally have to do it. I don't have to do anything! I'm a federal agent! This, this isn't my place! Well, this is just his lab. I'm not really sure why I'm poking around in his lab. Well, that's where the little sister comes out of when the big daddy comes up here and pounds on the side of it. Ah, uh, Bioshock reference. Yeah. Does he live in his laboratory? I don't know. That is also... Why are there so many just booby traps laying around here? What was with the Dwemer and installing booby traps in everything? I don't know. This is someone's house. Why is there a booby trap? Whatever. You'll have to ask them once we meet them, which we never will because they're extinct. Uh oh, we're in trouble now. Already all weapon, my friend. No! What? You gotta kill the witnesses! No! God damn, this place just keeps going. But no one asked, he was a victim of another dormer trap. Oh, okay, so the, so Calcimo just is like, yes, this would be my research laboratory. And then he takes the good bedroom. And he lives in his lab. Yeah, you're asking why the Dwemer installed traps in someone's house, but they didn't. They installed traps in their ruins, and someone turned it into a house. So what's wrong with him? I mean, there is a... Oh, wait a minute. 
Time to cook up those leeks! If I cook up the leeks, then that means it's not stolen anymore. Ha ha ha! The leeks may have been stolen, but the stew it was turned into was not. <laughs> you get arrested and he starts picking the leeks out of your stew? Oh, no, 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 we can't have this. This is theft. If only one ingredient in the stew was stolen, does that mean that this stew was stolen? Look, man, stop picking apart my stew. It's, a, it's not a stew of Theseus, all right? <laughs> all right, well, let's see if they try to kill me now. Why would they? We've killed the only witness. I mean, it's like we show up at Markarth and then we just start killing every single person in Markarth. Yeah, we've killed a lot of people so far here. <sighs> Let's go talk to Calcimo, tell him he's got a cool museum. Yeah, and then talk to the Yarl and let him know that we haven't done the quest he gave us yet. So there was, uh, we could investigate strange activity in Reachwind Airy. Oh, that? find a Herolf to shield for Igman. Oh, that's what we were doing! You were that mage from the college, right? Your things have finally calmed down over there. Yep, yep, the donut isn't up there screaming obey me anymore, so that's, that's nice. I'll take care of. Um, I have a feeling there's enemies up here. Severed animal heads. Yeah. I can I can sense it. It's not Forsworn, is it? Probably. That seems to be the calling card of Forsworn. You know what's really threatening? Putting goat heads on sticks. Everyone's threatened by that. Because, you know, goats are like the most powerful beings in existence. If so when else. I put a goat head on a stick, it's me telling everybody, Hey, don't mess with me. I'll screw you up. And if it doesn't work, at least it keeps the goats out. And also, it's really good at attracting flies, because I love just having black flies everywhere. <laughs> it's my favorite. I love the plague. Your cover is blown. Who, who sees us? That guy up there. One of these arrows is going to connect. Get him, horse! Hia! What the? You are really into arts and crafts, aren't you? Yeah, flush him out! Flush him out! <laughs> I'll see you in pieces. <laughs> Let's see if you can right, catch then. an arrow with your head. <laughs> Come and face My strength is waning. I may need a hand on this one. I got him. <laughs> rocks! Rocks! Oh, no. Rocks! The most dangerous things! They're moving! Slowly! Are they torturing this dude? Oh, jeez! I guess so. No, I... Head on a... They put that Nord's face on Did a... they, like, just spin the grindstone a bunch and they just, like, push his face into yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'm gathering, yeah. Okay. That's horrifying. That seems... I'm gonna be honest, that seems kind of dumb. <laughs> All right, where is this guy? There he is! Hey! Come back! Come back, I want to shoot firebolts at you. You! He's hiding behind that tanning rack! Get him, Carlotta! Fuck him! <laughs> Yay, he's dead! We killed him. Yeah, is that th does he have the shield? And now I'm gonna jump on the horse's back from a distance like Errol Flynn! Ah, crap. I don't, I don't want any of that. I did not see a shield Who on- Who shot- You jerk! For, for good he shot your... Raccoon with an ice- With an icicle! Yeah, he seems kinda happy about it though. Maybe it's nice I mean... and refreshing. Did this guy have a shield somewhere in one of these chests? Hmm. How did we get this far off track? Oh dang, we're not even close to where the shield is. Oh boy. All right, we got distracted. This but is neat, I like this. It's very nice, very, very beautiful. Ooh, ooh, wait. I feel the call of the void! The call of the void! Woo! Yeah, you... Now you gotta swim all the way back up, so. I caught a salmon, I got a salmon, I caught it. Uh, congratulations. That's why I did that. I saw the salmon. <laughs> what is that? What the hell is this? <laughs> is this because I caught the salmon? Are you from, uh, fishing and game? Been a long time since someone took the leap. Longer still since any survived it. I once performed the entirety of the poetic Edda from atop Bard's Leap before trying my life. Well, you can see how that turned out. He just has no sense of self-preservation. So you died, huh? <laughs> They're busy. Is, is that all you got to say to us? <laughs> nothing, nothing else? No quest to bring you back to life? All right, continue being dead, lootist. <laughs> there he goes. Goodbye. Ooh. Oh, we got some hag ravens over there. 
You're gonna just ignore me. Go back to what you were doing. What is this, the cake chair? You're just watching him eat? You are mine, hag. Wrong one. Get him, Ponyta! Destroy! Oh, they're not paying attention, are they? Are they? Bones of the wild. Life forsworn. Rise oh. from death. Blood of our blood. Like, oh, okay. They had to. They had to summon him first. They were doing a ritual. We were interrupting a summoning ritual. Yeah, uh, we interrupted a summoning ritual, and is stuff happening now? Yeah, things just. You just summon anyway. <laughs> Didn't save you. Whoever you summoned was not very strong. Just stomping the aggrave to death. And now the horse is mad at me. Okay, yeah. Okay, yes, word wall. What's in the word wall today? What power? Spirit, become ethereal. Oh, I learned the next part of become ethereal. Oh, uh -huh. you can become ethereal for longer, or can you be super ethereal? Uh, yes. Fate is 16, so spirit is 24. That's how I much time it takes to I'm recharge. No, wait, that makes sense. Why would it? Why would it, this second level make it take longer? You're to right. That's, that does not make any sense. Maybe I that's the rate it recharges. Whatever. I probably can become ethereal for longer. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, can... and I got his shield. Excellent. I'm gonna jump off this one too. Woo! Uh, sure. Jumping off all of them. Like... Yeah, baby. Oh shit. <laughs> Somebody get this dead man a loot. Uh, here's the shield. You've honored my father's memory in more ways than I have words to say. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in my city. Yay! Talk to my steward if you're interested. Is there anything else you need, my Jarl? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. Goodbye. If you'll excuse me, I have a well, city to Well, we have helped quite a lot of people so far. I've helped quite a few people, but I'm not ready to buy a house yet. Not ready for that kind of commitment. I mean, I already Stupid own a house. Dog. Would you like to go check on Neshwan Zell, the spider lair? Dig deeper into it? Oh, yeah. I want to go dig around down there. There are a bunch of Dwemer ruins. That look cool. And maybe there are some relics that have been unpilfered. Yeah, and then we can sell those relics to the guy for money! Wait, does unpilfered means it was pilfered and then it was unpilfered? No, that would be depilfered. Would it... If I undo a thing, that means it never happened. So I should say it's been... It's been de -dude. It be de-done. It be de -do. I was de-doing it. It be de -do. I had been de-doing it. de -do. Is the big one that was here still here? Ow! <laughs> The bones again. Why do the bones always get me every time? I don't know. I hate it. God! <laughs> it's a funny recurring joke with you, isn't it? Oh, you, oh, this guy, everything for a laugh. So this is where the Falmers sleep when they're not patrolling the ruins for no reason. I don't think they sleep in here, but maybe they do. Oh, <laughs> what a ninja! What? Oh, they're blind, but they're not deaf. They heard the whiz of the arrow and backed up. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, he sees us. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Anigo's such a good archer that he has to run directly up to him and get this far away in order to hit him. <laughs> we can't all be a master of parabolas. Get him, Anigo. Try harder. Do better. There you go. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. Double lightning stabs. And silly. You know what this looks like? This looks like one of those things in the market that you put a septum on it and then it goes around in a circle. <laughs> yeah. And then eventually it falls down in the middle. Yeah, those are fun novelties. I think it's more of a dwarven chamber pot, though. Oh. Unlimited power! Okay, no, they, they, they kind of don't suck. Hey! Oh, the pet scammer, no! What the... Oh, torture chamber. All right. Uh, modern torture chamber. Where did... Were the Falmer just ordering from the Acme torture catalog? Like, how is this so new looking? Yeah, a lot of blood here, too. So... And it's made of wood. It's not made of Dwemer material. Wait. Where did they get this? Who is selling torture equipment to the Falmer? Maybe this isn't the Falmer. Maybe someone else left this here? Oh, it's a, it's a torture thing. I, I see. It, it tortures. 
So is that it's Twimmer that torture? That just kills you! It's a, it's a Twimmer killing mechanism? This kills the crab! That's what that is! This kills the crab! No, I don't want to get up. It's not time for me to get up yet. This is your 5 o'clock wake-up call, Mr. Falmer. <laughs> they don't even go down very far. I can- Oh my god, I perfectly positioned him to not get smoked by any of them! <laughs> I want to see this terrible execution. I want to see, I want to see him get impaled. Eh. Eh. <laughs> so awful. This sucks. This sucks. What a stupid torture device. All right, let's not linger. I want to see what a dwarven armory has in stock. Thank God they all use the exact same locks that we're currently using in the same era that we're in, because otherwise I would have no idea how to pick these. Uh -oh. <laughs> um... There's a dead Falmer surrounded by a bunch of mechanisms, so... Can you go, why don't you go check out what's going on up there? Fine, don't fold your arms at me, don't go check it out, I don't- ah! <laughs> Out of nowhere, hello! Alright, so which one of you guys are gonna come, come to life and try to kill me? Cause I know you're gonna. All of you? I know you're gonna! Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ice rune! Yeah, there you go. If you spawn, you die. Or at least you freeze a little bit. Great. So this dead guy right here. Oh, thank God he left his diary right here. <laughs> How foolish to move through this place so quickly. It's taken me only a few hours to crack the back gate. Maybe I'll donate a cup or two, but Craig says he knows some private buyers who will pay handsomely for a working trinket. There has to be one in here. The side doors are all locked, but this chest should have one or two things of value. <laughs> when I get out, I'm going to buy myself a castle! Thank you for writing that down! And then he died. He uh, already had gold. a small pearl, but he... Yeah, he kept on going. He was greedy. Oh no, the mechanism is coming to life! And oh, they came from the wrong spot! <laughs> they actually were the decorative ones! They fooled us! They were decoys! Yep. You suck. <laughs> I thought you were going to attack me. This is bull. All right, well. You are a walking thunderstorm. No, I'm a walking lightning storm. Bring all these journal fragments back. And sorry, Kalsamo, bad news. This expedition is dead. Good news. More things for your museum, I guess. So. Well, there's the Dwemer sprinkler system. <laughs> yes. Wait, I forgot to holster my lightning hands. <laughs> Thresher Mall. Thresher Mall. Big hammer. And that uses all of my stamina. <laughs> I'll try using it once. Hey, I found the last dead guy. After making our way down the mine and through the spiders, we finally made it down to Shinoanzo proper. They've built this city into the very cave walls that house it. Amazing! Nishuanzo hums with life, but it's our guardians lay dormant. Hopefully we can learn more as we go deeper. How does it hum with life? After exiting the armory, we made camp with the farmer had been watching us. And finally tired of our intrusion. They came while we slept and slaughtered what guards were left. Meridia, forgive me for using my students as a distraction to get away, but I have to bring this place back to life. And then he died. Too many couldn't hit switch. I'm glad that he had the time to write too many couldn't hit switch, but he didn't have time to hit the switch. <laughs> using last of energy to write words in diary no one will find. Whoa, hey! There you go, what you got him with their hammer, all right. Oh, no, they're gagging up on you. I'm not a huge fan of this thing. Your fly swatter's a little slow. Yeah, it's... Was it supposed to be wielded by a centurion who normally moves that slowly? <laughs> yeah, it kind of... It kind of sucks. Yeah, it looks like it sucks. It kind of sucks. Yeah. Ah, there's the switch. More stuff over here. Why would I reactivate the automated defenses? Um, Why would I do that? To protect against the bomber, I suppose. Now all the defenses are going to be trying to kill me. That, Yeah, now that you say it out loud, it does seem like a bad idea. That's so... But maybe they're on your side. Maybe they recognize the person who activated the switch. 
Ah! Oh boy. Yeah, see now all the Dwemer shit is alive, and I guess it's killing all the Falmer stuff. Yeah! But what's easier to deal with, Falmer or Dwemer? No, yeah, you know, you fair point, yeah. Well, I mean, you say that, but the Falmer didn't seem to have much trouble. I want to kill more Falmer! No. Death to the Falmer! Okay. Death to Falmer! We activated the defenses, but it didn't do anything! This Falmer's really weird and hairy! <laughs> We're done here. Let's let Kelso know we did everything. He's probably gonna ow. He's probably gonna be pretty mad at me that I turned. <laughs> ow! Ah! Uh, bones! We'll tell Kelselmo that he can come down here as long as he mines the Falmer and the dwarven machinery that are now active, and all the bones that will immediately try to kill him. Yes. I have things to. See. The artifacts I've discovered in Nashuanzel will make history one day. Uh, I found this expedition. Journal. Let's see. Your crap surprised me. Ah, so that's what happened to Stubborn. Tragic. But I warned him he was leading those people on a fool's errand. Unfortunately, sometimes the stone of scholarship is built on the foundation of death. I'll inform the kin. We have explored the ruins of Nishwanzel. I guess, uh... All's well that Neshwan Enzel. <laughs> Bit of a stretch, but I'll give it to you because I liked it. Yay! That was a successful journey. We have executed the uh, bounty, and now we will go turn it in and get our reward. Marvelous. And you will have your reward! You don't think he's gonna betray us, do you? Yeah, I think he's gonna betray us and throw us into the, the Cave of Wonders. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's a Latin reference. Yeah. I can, ah.